Good morning everyone, this is Misty here. I am doing a de-stash. I have a few journals for sale. Um, we are coming upon some changes in our life, my husband and I, and I want to get ready for those changes and a little spring um, cleaning. So I'm going to show you the journals I have. Now I've done flip throughs of these, of course, every time I make one I do a video. So I'm going to kind of do a um, quick flip through. Now all the journals that is for sale, unless specify, is $28. That does include shipping. That is for the U.S., for the U.K. and Australia. It is $36.17 for shipping. And for Canada, it's $20.37 for shipping. So if you're international, you are more than welcome to purchase one of these. Um, U.S. can be shipped within a, one or two days. International will be two to three days because I will have to go to the post office for that. But I do have my quotes for the shipping for them. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Now this one here, some of these I have page counts. Page counts, some of them I don't. <clears throat> this one here I do. This is a 9x6 and it has 194 pages front and back. This is hardcover. You have the spine with these beautiful flowers that I have made. And there's the back. This has a bling here and the closure is elastic. And here is a book plate that I made and collaged it with some lace and, and all kinds of good things here. When you open it, you have this pocket here that is full of ephemera, and you have a big pocket in the back. I got, my, I just did my nails, and I'm having issues getting to things. So let me see if I can make this easier for me. There we go. So there is tons of ephemera in this book, tags and and whatnot. So these are. So sewn in no these are tied in I'm sorry but you have tons of ephemera and pockets and tea stained papers tons of stuff in here um, fabrics so there is plenty of places to write plenty of um, little pockets for things this was a lot of fun to make this was a part of a DT I did I did two parts I did her story and his story and uh, his story is sewed here is some dangles that I did for this book this is a tuck with tons of ephemera in it some tags here that is not y'all's i need to make sure i don't have any more in there oh my goodness you guys probably a good thing i'm flipping through this i'm probably going to find things i didn't know i had here's an envelope that's held on with the paper clip and it's been decoupaged book page decoupaged with uh, um a napkin some more ephemera so there is tons of things in here guys really really cool journal I really like it <clears throat> so and there is lace there is all kinds of things in this book lace there and these are Lindsay's um, digitals from Nevermore Creation 17. I'm on her design team so I have been really enjoying making journals and things with her um, with her digis. Love the little Eiffel Tower here and it's got some things tucked in there map page all kinds of things 
so this is like I said $28 I will have my PayPal um, email down below in the description bar if you're interested if you want this just go tell me go over to PayPal tell me which one you want they will be numbered and uh, make sure I have your address and all of that so that just makes things easier for me when I go to ship uh, your purchase there's some buttons there a fabric um, page so yeah I need to make sure I have your your address and this is two signatures you guys there's another fabric page very very cool book a lot of tea stained I love doing that paper there's a paper clip that's an envelope and I've got stuff tucked in behind it that has been stitched so tons of stuff here's a beautiful applique on the back I love this paper and this is a booklet and some ephemera so this is $28 and she is so pretty so there is this is number one so I will make sure I write that down. Um, if I could find a pen that works for story number one. Okay, here is this one. This one is Journey. I think I have the information for this one. This is a soft cover. It is all hand sewn by me. Of course by me I made it gosh here is a beaded flower I did some dangles here this I liked I really enjoyed making this one and you open it here is journey so I will put her story right here I will tuck that in the book so <clears throat> this is journey it's a soft cover there's 196 pages front and back and it is a nine and a half by five and a half and there is tons of journaling in in this book here so handmade flower that I did a lot of beadwork in this one stamping I love this page here there's a dangle up at the top this little pocket and it opens up and you have extra writing there so this is 28 as well and you see there's lots of ephemera I left the little strings on where I sewed here's a paper clip some more dangles tons of ephemera in this pocket it is tea stained as well there's some more dangles there's lace there is beadwork like this here is all beadwork that I did they're all sewn on individually Here is another little collage I did. Pocket. Some more beadwork. Beautiful pink bead pearls sewn on. And this bottom one has a cross on it. This one. More beadwork. I love beading it's just so hard on me here's a collage I did on this one tons of little tags and things here I sewed this made this ruffle I sewed it and put a button and some beads envelopes and all look at this bead I love 
love how all the beadwork <clears throat> looks in this book. Just tons of beads. And if you wanted to, you could cut them beads off and use these in your own journal. You could put it in this one. You could put it in another one. So they are all sewn on individually. So there's an option for you guys. So another little envelope here. And it tucks down behind that button. And it just sits there. So this would be an awesome journal to write in. Lots of crystals and all kinds of things. So here is this one. This one here is Journey. It is 28. That does include shipping. And it is PayPal only, you guys. So there is that one there and I have to find room for all of these here is treasured moments she is soft covered all hand sewn beautiful purple laces there's all kinds of purple throughout this one I know I can't believe I'm selling it either so you have tags and stuff this in here is a pocket as well ephemera some collaging this here opens up and it's a little pocket as well some stamping doilies I mean this is just I really like this one misty paper all the paper is dyed purple so this was this is fun to make too because it is purple and y'all know I am a purple girl oops get back in there here is an extra little booklet that I put in here that's just full of tea stained paper and you have a pocket there this is a one signature you guys put amazing here you got all this to write on I love lined paper and I didn't do a lot of distressing matter of fact I don't think I did any distressing in here beautiful I love that little pocket with tons of ephemera another envelope tuck spot as well this has a little booklet on the inside little place here so this was there's a pocket there and it's got some ephemera on the inside some ephemera there in that bag lots of little paper clips in here that you can clip um, extra things in notes whatever here is a little tuck spot that you've got some ephemera in another little booklet again this is 28 include shipping US only and then here is some extra ephemera here so there is this one I don't have a page count for her but this is number three and I need to get a piece of paper and write number three on it number three and make sure I put that here okay there's number three here is number four this is a hardcover there is dangles this is paper clip some ephemera it's got a butterfly this one here I enjoyed making she's not as fat as the other ones but just as pretty so you open her up and she has these beautiful flowers she has some tags in here this is um, digis that Brenda from Foxy's creations she sent me to create with and it was so much fun big envelope some vellum beautiful tag 
And then you have this mason jar tag in the back. Here is some more little mason jars tucked in this. And this is an envelope that you can take out and put stuff in. Here is a pocket that's got a big mason jar in. Here's some more mason jars. So there is tons of space to write in this one as well. You also have some dangles. Love this here. Some more tags and pockets. You got some wax, tea stain wax paper. This here I created myself with Stampin' Up Stamps and cardstock lined on some tea stained paper some more envelopes and it's got a pocket as well with some tags in it she did an awesome job with her images look at that that's on tea stained laces dangles so pretty another envelope some more that's some old paper that I got from Patty Lane. Some more tags. That's Stampin' Up paper. I love Stampin' Up. Here is another pocket. It's got some tabs in here. Here's a little flip up you can write in. Another envelope. Some more lace. Tons of room to write in this one. This is a 9 by uh, 5 or 7. I can't remember which. Here are some more tags. Some of that wax paper. I love the sound of wax paper in a journal, you guys. Beautiful images. Here's a pocket. It's got some tags in it. Some lace on the other side. Some more of that vellum. Some more beautiful tags tucked in there. And here is the back. And in the back you've got a couple journaling cards. A pocket with flowers and lace. So this is 28 as well. Include shipping. Again, 28 for US. 36.17 for... Um, the UK and Australia and 2036 for uh, Canada so this is number one two three this is number four so there is another one I've got two more to share with you guys okay this here is called the flower garden this is paper it is one signature and this oh my gosh I love this one so this is number five and you have tags here tags here lots this is Lindsay's digis as well I got some envelopes a lot of ephemera here is some more text look at this tag that is gorgeous. I get it just for the tags. Look at that. Beautiful tags in here. So this is not really distressed either. I wanted to kind of keep it kind of eclectic. So here is a book page. It's got a little stamp and it says poems about birds. And you could easily, this is, uh, I think this is tied in. Yeah, this is tied in, so you could take any of this out and use it in, you know, another journal if you wanted to. I don't see why you would, but, you know, you never know. So here is some tags and things like that in this belly band. All the pages are stamped. Here's a little thing about uh, daffodils, little ephemera pieces, some butterflies. Here's an envelope. And it's got some ephemera on the inside of it. So yeah, I kind of kept it eclectic. Here is a journal card I just stuck in there. Here is a 
library pockets got some tags and it's got tags in the back as well music paper very very cool these have little sayings down here on the bottom so this one was a lot of fun to make another book page and I added it was black and white but I added some color on it I thought that looked cool belly band and it's got some journaling cards here is some ephemera that wasn't supposed to be in there so here's some ephemera that I've stuck in here here's some ephemera some tags lots of cool cool things in this book and it's a pretty good sized book for having just uh, one signature Ton tons of places to write put pictures do some art whatever it is that you want to do in this book all throughout here there's a book page on plant life so really really pretty this is a stampin up stamp i think i'm addicted to stampin up library pocket with tags and stuff in it tons of tags and journaling cards but i definitely i mean even these pages you can write on if you wanted to i mean they're so pretty it'd be hard to write on them here is a envelope it's got some ephemera in it a little bird here are some more ephemera and the these pockets here and belly bands there's a swatch there here is some more here paint chips beautiful journal tons of ephemera and stuff so this here <clears throat> is 28 as well and you have some journaling cards in the back so there is that one this one is number five here we go and the last one is a recent one that i have made this is biblical themed and this is number six this one here was so much fun to make now this don't have any distressing it don't have laces throughout it but i do have these bulldog clips and there is lace on them some lace some some uh, uh whatever you call that eyelash trim so and this is soft covered and it has says for god to love the world this is a pocket here these are Lindsay's. they was free in her group and i printed them out each page has stamping so you have some tea stain and some green papers tons of places for journaling you know extra pockets and things to stick stuff in here is a double belly band here here is another one the tags so this is definitely you definitely have a lot of room to to write in this one and I will be so happy when they get a forever home and get used some pockets here tags here love that tea staining here and this one here I need to do more uh, tea stained coffee stained paper because I am out so you definitely have plun plunge tons of writing in this they are sewn in this one here is sewn in oh I love the way that feels I said that the last time last video I did of a flip through I just sat and I painted it. I only have one of these page, these um, 
journal cards, but I wanted to share it in here. It's beautiful. It said all the pages have stamping. These here have scriptures on them. My phone is... My phone's talking to me. Alexa just jumps in whenever she wants. There's some tags here. There's a pocket here. Here's a belly band here with stuff tucked in it. And I usually give extras with my with my journals as well. Here is a journal piece. This is of the front cover. It's something I designed myself. Well, I didn't I put it together. I made it. It is on tea stained paper and this is a little tuck spot here. You turn it, you have a tuck spot here. Here is ephemera here, and then here is some stationery in the back. So here is this journal here. Again, it's $28 for this one here. So I thank you guys for taking a look at what I have. I know that went pretty fast, but I've done flip throughs of them. I just wanted to give you a glance at what they look like. So they are up for sale. If you're interested, like I said, my PayPal will be down below. Um, UK and Australia shipping is $36.17 and Canada is $20.36 and of course for the US the shipping is included in the price so go over if you're interested go to PayPal put in you know which one you want one two three four or five please make sure you include that please make sure that you include your um, address so I know where to ship it or if you're getting it for someone else their address that I need to ship it to so thank you again for watching I hope these find their forever home so I wish you all a wonderful day and I'm going to leave you guys like I always do with a goodbye a God bless and I'll see y'all again soon bye